Well, Christina, congratulations on this film. Your performance was incredible. And honestly, it just looked beautiful. I need to go to Mauritius so bad. I feel like you're going to be hearing that all day today. <laughs> I think you do pretty good at doing films now that, that make people want to go to different destinations now. So yeah, I do. Add I Mauritius want, to your list for sure. <laughs> yeah, I do want to talk to you about that as well. Um, but I loved this movie because I love romantic comedies, especially ones that are set in paradise. And I know you've briefly spoken about this before, but I love that this in this movie the theme is you with your character Erica she doesn't want to give up her dreams for a man yeah. and that's prevalent throughout the whole entire film and I was just curious how you saw your own self when you were playing Erica and your own dreams wow. within playing Erica. you know that's so funny I um I definitely reflected on myself within my character um I can't say that I've necessarily been in a relationship where anybody's ever stopped me from from shooting for my dreams, thankfully. But I do say that my dreams have definitely been taken a priority until the right one came along. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like understanding like that maybe not the right person, it might not be the right situation, but to continue to follow your passions, continue to follow your dreams, because at the end of the day, what makes you happy is gonna make you love yourself. It's gonna, it's gonna help you be a happier person and be more fulfilling. Now, if it all doesn't go well, of course, sometimes it's not, it's not, it's, you know, it doesn't, <laughs> I think it takes its time and it takes its toll on you sometimes. But, um, you know, if you try new things and you continue to love what you do, somehow it all kind of pans out. And I think that's the, the hope. And in this is, you know, I think that's the greatest thing about this, that there's hope and there's a faith in something and she's still following her dreams and you never know what, where it will lead you. 100%. Now, all of the singing sequences are incredible. I don't want to give anything away, but your rendition of Alicia Keys, No One, is incredible. I'm honestly just wondering, as I was watching you in this film, how is singing as Christina Milian different than singing as a character? <laughs> is it the same? Do you feel like, are you putting a little bit, some, is it a little bit different when your character, or do you put the same into the performance? That's so funny. It's a really good question. Um, well, I mean, first off, singing an Alicia Keys song, uh, <laughs> that in itself uh, is is probably more so my character singing her song and kind of like whatever she's feeling in the moment of that scene, I kind of bring I bring to the table. Yeah. Um, but I guess you could technically say it is still Christina Milian singing the songs because <laughs> um, uh, because I mean, I think bringing a piece of me to the table is kind of what my fans are looking for anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I like, yeah, I like to bring my my own persona to it. But of course, understanding what the situation is per scene, um, when I'm singing the song really does make a difference and I become Erica. One, yeah, 100%. No one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last question mm -hmm. for you. Um, I know you filmed Falling in Love in New Zealand with Roger Cumble. Cruel Intentions is my favorite movie of all time. I love Roger Cumble. I'm honestly just curious what you learned from filming in New Zealand, working with Roger Cumble that you then applied to this oh my film, Resort in Love. Yeah. That's so funny that, you know, I'm, I just texted uh, Roger because I love Roger. He's such a great director. Like you said, but um, Cruel Intentions is one of my favorite movies too, but he had this ability of just like letting you go, like, all right, improvise. And then he would even add even more. He would show you like old comedians and in um, and, and movies and say, check this out. And you would get inspired from it. So when going into uh, a resort to love from falling in love, I was able to take, take the ability of just even more improv improvise more and also not being afraid to just be silly or stupid because there's some scenes in the movies that are funny where I'm like singing uh at a wedding and I'm supposed to be like you know I'm singing no, I was I life, was and I'm really laughing it, you are literally you are such <laughs> a good comedic <laughs> actor <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I was having the worst time of my life singing the, the time of my life and I had the best time doing it because I acted so stupid. I was like, are you guys okay if like you just let me go, let the leash go and I can just go for it. And they were like, go for it. Of course, there's no leash, but they totally were like, go for it. Do, do your thing. And you should have seen how everybody just like stopped their jaw dropped, like what's happening right now. And it was perfect. It's exactly what the scene called for. Yes. Well, Christina, thank you so much for your time today. I can't wait for fans to see this film. You are literally, it's such a great performance. So funny. Love the singing and I love the message. Can't wait for fans to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you so well, much. Sinqua and Jay, congratulations on this movie. It was so beautiful in your performances. 
were incredible. I want to go to Mauritius so bad right now. I feel like a lot of people are going to be saying that after they see this beautiful film. Um, I was. <laughs> I yes. think they were banking on that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Love it. Yes. Um, well, I was honestly wondering what the two of you did to bond before filming as brothers. Did you do anything in the island specifically? Did you know each other beforehand? Jay, I want to begin with you. No, no, no. It's so it, it's so funny, man. It, it, it's so funny that as soon as we saw each other in the airport, yeah. like cool. we 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 lot, and then it was a we just gave each other that. I had never met him before. I was yeah. I had seen seen American Soul, but I had never met him in person. Um, super talented dude, and and now my brother for life, man. It, it was just instantly. So I think the Lord the Lord put us together. He was just <laughs> put us together. Yes, He shined down on us. Yes, the, yes. The first thing that we did actually was when we got to. So when you fly from LA, especially during COVID, when you fly from LA. To Mauritius, you have to stop off in Dubai, which already sounds luxurious, like to, to have that experience. Yes. And the first thing we did was go to the gym. And then yeah. we went to the gym together. And that's how we, like, that continued the bonding situation is that the fact that we both were like, yo, I need to get this workout in before we go into quarantine. Yeah. Um, and that was like our first, our first outing as brothers. I love that. The movie is so funny. I was laughing so much. I'm honestly curious how much improv dialogue maybe made it into, into some of the scenes. Did you guys improv back and forth a good bit? Because like the dialogue between the two of you just seemed very, very flowy and natural. Jay, I'll begin with you. Was any of your improv in there? Yeah, there was some, there was a, uh, there were a few lines that got caught, uh, <laughs> caught in there. Like, especially when we're, um, when, when me and him are, when I'm standing up and he's standing up too, like, yo, make the first move. And I'm like, yo, I'm getting married. That's yeah. manly. like all of, like those little moments in there. That was, that was improv in there. And Steven, uh, Steven caught them and I'm, I'm so glad he did. But oh there my was, God, uh, love that. Love that so much. Yes. Yeah, Sinqua, yeah. tell me the art of the slow motion entrance of leaving the water ocean going right. to the beach because your character entrance as Caleb is amazing and I loved it. <laughs> Talk about that slow motion walk, how many times you had to do that, how many times you had to carry Christina. Mm, I mean, you know, it's something that I studied in drama school, which was, you know, how to walk out of the water. Right. And so <laughs> just being a student of my craft, right? And just like learning on the fly, I was like, okay, this is one thing I need to keep in the toolbox, how to walk out the water slowly. So if you if you really go back and when people get to watch it, all of that is me. There's no camera tricks. OK, there's there's there's, there's nothing going on. That's just how I walk out the water all the time to get attention. And I learned Wait, that, in drama that dude on your back. <laughs> With the dude on the, I practiced that, you know, just weight vest on so I could always be prepared. And, and how many it didn't take any takes. It was just like, boom, we got it. and We were out of there. Yeah, that's so funny. He also has a he also has a Bluetooth speaker that plays uh sexy music when he's leaving the war. That's, that's day. in the backpack. Yeah. That's what the dude was carrying on his back. On his back was a Bluetooth speaker. It was people don't leave that out. Jay, thank you for that detail. <laughs> Just letting you know. I gotta look, I gotta give some away. I can't give it all away, but some give away. Gotta See, give away some happens, of the movie magic. Man. Yeah, now I'm not as I'm not as great as a magician anymore. Oh, well, thank you both so much for your time. I can't wait for fans to see this movie. Your performances are amazing. Jay, you were a fantastic crier, by the way. Like, thank you really you. got me. I was like, yeah, I was like, he's like a le legit good actor in this, you know? So good. Thank you so much, baby. No, I'm serious. It was like your, your perform, like the, the mo I mean, I know it's a rom-com, but like your performances as Jason was like really, really like grounded and solid and like really realistic. I loved it. Thank Love. you. Thank, you, Thank so you guys so much for your time today. I appreciate it. And I can't wait for fans to see the film. Yes. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right.